Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to basically get started in Terraria and this is for people that don't really know anything or they only know a very little bit about the game so we're going to start by showing you how to create a world and character so this is what will come up when you load the game and just for anyone's benefit the version is there 1.3.5.3 but this will pretty much be the same in the future I'm pretty sure so you want to start by clicking single player as you can see I have two other characters and then you want to click new and this is your character you've got lots of options and if you're wondering what this one is it allows you to choose a difficulty soft court means that you'll only drop your money and it's what I play at Medium core means you'll drop items, which can be a bit annoying, because if you die, when you respawn, you're nowhere near your stuff, so you'll have to go find it, which could be hard. And then there's hardcore, which means once you're dead, there's no going back, you're not allowed back on your character. So I am going to make a character that I like, and I'll see you then. So guys, I've made a character I like the look of. So now it's just simply you have to press create and also you can use the random feature which just chooses a random one until you get one you like. So now you just want to type whatever you want your character to be called. So this one will be called tutorials. And then there you go, there's our character and you can press this favourite button if you want and then you can't accidentally delete it. And I'll leave it favourited because we can. So I have three worlds as you can see because these are the worlds and to get here you have to click on that you can either click play or you can double click so yep two ways of doing it and then once you're in here you want to click new now you can choose whatever world size size you want I'm going to go for small but you can go for whatever and then expert just makes it a lot lot harder as it says and then there's also better loot so it's rewarding here for putting the difficulty up but I wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner, I would just go with normal mode. As I've played hundreds of hours and I struggle with expert mode, so... If you're a beginner, I don't think it'll suit you very well. And I just double clicked that. So now you get to choose Corruption or Crimson. This doesn't really matter. So we're going to go... Well, I'm going to choose Corruption. Because I prefer the Corruption, but that's just my preference. They're both similar, and I only prefer the corruption because I like the boss that's there more. The crimson has cooler drops and weapons, but I think if you're struggling to decide, you should just click random. So I'll actually do that, and then you want to enter your world name. So I'm going to call it tutorials again, and there we go. So now it will do this, which is just creating your world. Sometimes can take a while. Depends on how good your PC is. If you have a really, really good PC, it will probably only take a few seconds. But if, like mine, you don't have the best, it takes quite a while. But I have had other devices that take a lot, lot longer. Like my old laptop, that took about five minutes to load a world, which isn't pleasant. This one only takes about 20 seconds. And bear in mind, this is a PC, not a laptop. But that's besides the point. So I'm going to favourite it. And then we'll go in, it loads. And here we are, we have this guy here. Which, don't worry about him, he won't attack you. He's just your guide. You use W, A, S and D to move. You don't really need to use W much, because... I'm pretty sure it doesn't even do anything actually but here are the controls yeah it does do something but to get to your controls what you want to do is when you're just here assuming your controls are at the default ones you just want to press escape and then you want to go down to here click on settings and then controls and then as you can see it's got them all here and if you're using a controller there's also the controller here and I think that's based on Xbox controls so yeah, and you can change them if you want, but I'm just going to leave them as they are. And 
while I'm in this menu, this is your inventory. You start with a copper short sword, a copper pickaxe, and a copper axe. And then there's your armor area and your equipment and your NPCs. And there's also camera mode, which I'm gonna close. And I'm being attacked. So settings is also where you well, you can see a lot of stuff here, but it's also where you save and exit and you can change settings and things. So as you can see that's our guide and he's shooting, don't worry that's not at us. So these slimes which are probably the first mob you'll encounter in the game. And as you can see I've got some gold and some gel. The gel is from the slimes and the gold I also got from the slimes but they don't always drop that so don't expect to get it. But what we're going to start off with is these trees as you can see there's a lot. What you want to do is switch to your axe which can move around your hot bar using the scroll wheel or using numbers to go to each specific one and they are numbered so yeah and what you want to do is go to the bottom of a tree and hold down left click and start chopping away at the tree and after a while it'll break and then you'll get wood and acorns and you want for getting started you want to get quite a good amount of wood because it allows you to craft a lot of things which crafting is one of the things we'll get onto shortly and then it's also just useful in general so i'm gonna grab a ton of wood and i'll see you then so guys i've got 360 wood which should be enough for now and i'm being attacked by a slime again but now we've got wood what we want to do is once again open your inventory and as you can see down here there is crafting there's torches platforms and a workbench you want to go down to the workbench and craft one and place it now what you want to do is click this little hammer here which shows you all the things and then what I'm going to do first is make a wooden sword and you might get a different prefix to mine and also I'm favoriting this by holding alt on my keyboard and then left clicking and if it gets that like weird background it means that you can't accidentally trash it because I'll show you with this sword if I hold shift and click on it it'll go in the bin there and if you put something else on top of that it will disappear forever and while we're pressing shift this is the minimap you can zoom in zoom out and zoom in and then this just goes to the default and then each time you press shift it changes as you can see this one's sort of like an overlay well underlay because it's behind us I guess you could call it and then there's none that also here and then there's also if you press M the big one so yeah and a way to escape that is that don't know why you'd do it like that but yeah this is your map it's fairly big and then what we want to do is go to the workbench again and this is the wooden armor you want to craft it and just put it in your inventory for now and then you want to right click on each one and as you can see it's disappeared and that's because it's gone over here into your armor section and then you also want to make a wooden hammer if I don't get rudely interrupted by a slime because that will come in useful shortly so if you've watched my previous tutorial which came out yesterday well assuming this comes out the day after you will know that I showed you how to build an NPC house now I'm going to show you again because this is how to do the basics and not everyone will have watched that video but what we're going to do is build an NPC house and an NPC is someone like the guide and there's quite a lot of them in the game and as you can see we're picking up a wide range of stuff we're just going to leave them for now so what I'm doing first is just mining away with my pickaxe some of the dirt and then fill it, filling it in with wood and you place wood with left click and you also mine with left click and then what you want to do at each side is build up until you can't anymore as you can see it won't let me and if you accidentally go out of the area it doesn't matter because you can always just mine the blocks and even though it's wood strangely you do it with a pickaxe and then at that same height where you can't go any higher you want to fill in the roof like that and then I'm going you have to jump while mining these because of the height but I'm going to mine it like that so it's symmetrical because I'm pretty sure that's the middle 
and then what you want to do is go to your inventory and craft two wooden platforms and put them there and just for the sake of saving resources I'm going to go and mine this workbench same way you mine anything else and then I'm going to place it here so now you've got your workbench what you want to do is make two chairs assuming like me you want your base to be symmetrical and then you want to make two doors and not necessarily base just NPC house now what you want to do is mine the bottom three blocks of this wall and then it will let you place the door in and if I show you over here if I mine four blocks yeah that's too high if I mine like that it won't let me place the door and the reason for that is is because you need to have a block above and below where the door will be like that and then it will let you and you can right click on these to open them and close them and now what you want to do is make some wooden walls I'm going to make about 60 and then what you want to do is press control so your cursor goes a bit fat and then you want to just hold left click and it will fill in the majority of this area and then yep it's filled it all in and we've got eight spare which is good and then what you want to do now for the final touch is make some torches and just place them like you would anything else and then that is your house done and the reason I put a platform there is so in the future you can expand on it by just building another room on top something like this we're not going to fill it in for now but we can make some walls and put walls in so it looks a bit nicer if I go like this once again using the same method to place all the walls in there we go and then if I make some more torches which you know how to make there we go so I actually will fill it in because I thought we wouldn't have enough wood but we do and I'm just going to make it identical to the previous one with two chairs again and then both of these houses are suitable for NPCs and I just got a potion which is nice but as you can see it is becoming night and don't worry that isn't too bad of a thing and that is basically what night basically means is you'll get different monsters and it's harder to see if you don't have torches so I'd recommend taking torches with you wherever you go because when you hold them everything around you is lit up and then also if you ever get stuck in a hole things you can do is with platforms if you see a big hole that you don't think you'll be able to get out of what you can do is build a bridge over it like this and then you can still go down by pressing S at some point in the game whenever you want to go down but you can also go back up if necessary and then they're mushrooms which are health potions and ooh we've got a corruption and if you have a crimson it will be red and we're not going to touch the corruption or crimson whichever one you have yet because for now all we all we want to do is learn how to do the basics and that isn't the basics so this is basically the first thing you'll want to do in the game another thing you'll want to do at some point which we're going to make a little extension of our base for here is make a mine to gather resources such as ores and other materials because you can find caves which have lots of ores in so I'll just fill these walls in and then we'll also want to make another door and then I'll mine these three blocks there we go and then I'll place another door so now we have a fully done house and I'm just going to place some torches outside like that and then if I go here as you can see the guide lives here Jacob the guide so yeah and because we don't have any form of flight or accessories that you'll see later on in the game like if you watch my let's play you'll see that I have wings and stuff we don't have them at the moment obviously what you want to do is when you're doing a mine like this is you want five blocks in between each platform but well, that's how many I do you can do less if you want 
I wouldn't do any more or you can't get up to each one because if you only press space lightly you can't get up. You have to press it. Well I just hold it because then you definitely go up. And you want to make sure it's lit up and as you can see here are some zombies. They are one of the nighttime mobs but with mining which is sometimes a good time to do sometimes a good time to do it is night because it means you're not being bothered by things like zombies and other monsters that come out that's quite often the time I do it except if I'm looking for caves on the surface and there's another mob a demon eye but you want, what you want to do is keep mining like this until you find something one thing that is useful at the very beginning of the game is stone so if you come across any it's just this little grey block you want to mine a little bit because it will help you quite a lot because it will let you along with torches and wood make a furnace which you need to smelt ores and get bars and bars are how you get your first bits of well some of your first bits of armour and tools in the game and most of the good armour in the game is made out of bars so it's very important to get a furnace and later on you'll get upgraded versions of this but there you go 20 stone 4 wood any type and then 3 torches and there we go we have a furnace and what we'll do is up here instead of 2 chairs we can have a furnace against the wall and we can actually still have a chair like that no that looks ugly so we'll just mine our chair and then that will be what upstairs looks like for now and as long as you have a workbench and a chair some sort of light walls doors and then well an access to outside like as you can see this one goes through platforms and then to doors because I'm like basically that is how the houses work you need doors workbench a chair light source and then obviously the walls around the house and what we're going to do is go and get this copper which is just up here so we're gonna place a torch there so it doesn't matter when we mine this one and then we're gonna just mine this way a little bit and get this copper ore here and then we're gonna show you at the furnace that you can make copper bars and then we'll probably end this video because that really is the basics of the game. Like there's not much else that you'd call basics other than exploring which you'll know how to do. So there's three copper and we can also make a gold bar. And if I go to our guide because he's useful you can click crafting and then he'll show you how to craft things. As you can see we can make lots of weapons and tools with copper. Same with gold gold you can make once again weapons and tools and they're all useful like if you look at that five defense compared to our one and these don't even have any defense and they have four so it just proves that if you go mining you can get metals which will allow you to get a lot better stuff but anyway I hope this video was helpful teaching you the basics of Terraria and that was a bad idea I've just let zombies in my house wasn't exactly a good idea but I hope you enjoyed this video of Terraria where I showed you the basics and basically just how to get started in the game and if I used the word basics basically and stuff like that a lot I'm sorry but I'm not really used to doing this sort of thing and I'm just getting started really so that's why but I hope you enjoyed really I died and as you can see, I only dropped money. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.